What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I am currently in a Goodwill looking for some stuff to sell on eBay or Amazon. And here's a camera. Looks kind of interesting. Uh, not really worth anything though. But yeah, I'm in the toy department here looking for anything I can find to flip. So if you see anything I missed or anything of interest, make sure to point it out to me. That's one of the reasons I love recording uh, inside of the Goodwills and the other stores I thrift because people point out stuff and it's a good way to learn. Um, I can't know everything, that's for sure. I definitely miss stuff. A lot of times I go back and edit these videos and I see stuff that I missed and I was like, how did I miss that? That was right there. Um, that's pretty disappointing, but it's also scary how much stuff I probably miss going to Goodwill. Here's a Glooby, like some sort of retro doll. I looked that up and um, wasn't worth selling. It was it was selling for like eight bucks, I think, online, and they wanted $7.99 at Goodwill. So it wasn't worth picking up to flip. Here's one of these wrestling um, kind of plush things. This is a rock. This is a newer one, but the older ones from like the 90s. Uh, early 90s. They're a bit larger. Uh, they're pretty collectible and people desire them. So if you find one of those, they're actually worth flipping. Um, I forget what they go for. Quite a bit of money. Um, sometimes over the $100 mark. Um, that one could have been worth picking up. I don't know. Um, I should have probably checked. I uh, just It seems like I've checked before on the newer ones and they're not really worth picking up. That one was kind of dirty anyway and it had like a, a sound thing in it, so I don't know um, <laughs> if it was really valuable. Here is a combo unit. I got pretty excited. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. It's an Emerson, no remote, $6.99, fair price. But I look it up, and on Amazon, it's selling for $19.99. I could not believe it. Um, high rank and everything. It was probably just a, a low ball price because they can't move them because it's just a bad rank. Um, if I had the remote, I may have picked it up, tried to sell it on eBay to make a little bit of money. But without the remote, I'm just not going to, um, to sell that. Actually, the Emerson remotes kind of sell for a lot. Um, sometimes I see them sell for like $30 to $40 for those uh, combo units. So kind of crazy if you don't have the remote sometimes with those. They're not worth dealing with. Um, plus, they don't work a lot of the times. Um, so uh, I'm fine with leaving that. But uh, yeah, I did find some stuff in here. I've got out of Goodwill, picked up a couple of media items here. First, we got this Stephen King Bag of Bones audio book. Uh, this is $9.99. I had to pay for it, unfortunately, but it does sell. I think it was uh, $49 something on Amazon, and um, should make some pretty good profit on that. It will sell really fast. It has like a 200,000 rank in books, which is really good. And here we have just a the Piper's Legacy. Sounds riveting. Um, this was $1.99, and I'll make about 5 bucks is all in the end. But I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up. Had an okay rank in music, I think like 80000 I think it was, which is okay. So between these two items, profit-wise, after all fees, I'll make about 30 bucks. Here we are in another Goodwill, and we're looking in the toys. Uh, there's a lot of toys here to look at. I look up, and I see this like poster board thing with Hot Wheels, and it kind of got my attention. I said, wow, that's something you don't see every day. And um, <laughs> it's big, and my ca I'm trying to hold a, a camera, so you got to forgive some of this footage. Please forgive it. Um, it's just hard to do all with one hand. I need to hire a cameraman, right? Follow me around and do all that. That would be pretty cool. Here we are looking at it, and um, yeah, it's Hot Wheels. And what I noticed right away is the Hot Wheels, well, the price I noticed right away, only $6.99. And each Hot Wheel was not individually priced, so it looked like it was a bundle. So uh, uh, there was a um, there was competition staring at me, um, looking at that. So I went ahead and was holding on to it. There's some dominoes, dragon dominoes. These things I thought looked old and interesting. I looked them up. They do move pretty well, but they do not sell for a lot. So Goodwill had them priced three dollars. They weren't worth me picking up and selling. I'm um, looking around here for anything else to flip. Not really seeing a whole lot. Let me know if you see anything. There's a lightsaber. Some of those lightsabers can be worth a fortune if they're the good models. Um, here's a little Pac-Man game for $5. It's one of the newer, more common ones right now, so it wasn't really worth picking up to flip, so I left it. So it is time to go over this haul. It's pretty good, I think. I got some pretty unique things. 
Uh, this is from Three Goodwills and a Salvation Army. So let's jump right into the big thing here, these Hot Wheel cars on this display case here. Now I seen this, uh, it was $6.99, which when I looked at the price, I was kind of shocked that Goodwill didn't price this up, because they usually price Hot Wheels two to three dollars a piece. So um, each Hot Wheel here is not priced individually, so it all came together. So that's great. Uh, I'm not, a, I don't know much about Hot Wheels, I'll be honest. I do know some of them can be valuable, most of them aren't. Um, but looking at these online, uh, actually when you like scan the UPC on eBay, which is what I was doing at first, the UPC is the same for like every car. So you actually have to go in and type in the, either the number or the, the actual car. So I decided I wasn't going to do that with every car. But a lot of these I did check were selling anywhere between 5 and $10 a piece. So there's 23 cars here. So even if you was paying a dollar a piece for these, the normal Hot Wheel price, you're spending 23 bucks. So for $6.99, I think that's a great deal. I don't know the profit I'll get on this. Probably between $50 and $100. I'll probably do an auction on these. I'll just sell the cars. I'm not going to sell the display. Even though I do think you could get some pretty decent money out of that. You could probably get $25, $30. I was trying to find it quick on eBay. I could not find one uh, exactly like it. But a lot of the other similar style displays were selling for a lot. Like $50 to $75. I also don't know for sure if it would sell and how much it would sell for. If it would even be worth the effort. But I will hold on to it and maybe I can flip it locally or something, get a little bit of money. Uh, either way, I <laughs> decided to buy it for one, because of the price. Uh, two, each car was not individually priced. And three, there's no Goodwill sticker on each car, so that just makes it easy. I wouldn't want to, it wouldn't be worth my time, honestly, to take Goodwill stickers off of all of these. And chances are you wouldn't get perfect condition. It would peel just a little bit of the paint off or something. Uh, even using heat and being careful, and I don't want to do that for 23 cars, but in this situation, everything is going to work out great. I will price this, I don't know, maybe like $40 and just do an auction and just see what happens. Over here, uh, if you've watched my videos, you know a few months ago now, I think it is, I bought some Yonix badminton rackets at Goodwill. I got, I think it was four of them. And uh, one of them was actually looking to be worth about $300. I have not, I have not listed that one yet. I'm, I'm behind on listing it. Of course, I do have a pile of rackets in there and I'll probably be listing those in the next week or two. The other ones looked like they were worth about 80 some dollars. So I seen this one and it was $1.99. I just knew I was buying it. Actually came from Japan. It was 2,300 yen it looks like. So, an, a, an unused Yonix. Now I looked up the model here, B650. Of course I could not find any comps on that. Um, I haven't looked up the uh, Terra Peak or the, the history yet. So um, I think minimum I'm going to make $20 profit on that just based on some of the lower end Yonix uh, vintage ones, what they sell for. I did see that it was vintage. Um, it was from the 90s, that model. Uh, but I could not find any actual sales. I just found that on a Google search. But what I always talk about is you look things up. I seen those badminton rackets at uh, that Goodwill. And I said, Yonix, maybe that's a good brand. Looked it up. Said, oh, these things sell anywhere from $20 to $30. Decided to buy all of them. And then when I got home, I seen that one was worth so much money. It was a very sought after um, model. Because I took the effort to research and learn. Now I picked up this one. I'll probably pick up more along the way throughout life. But of course, not all of them are super valuable, the Yonix ones. It's just a freak thing that I got that one that was worth so much. Actually, four of them that was worth quite a bit. But here we are. We got up some board games at Goodwill. We got this Phase 10 Deluxe. This is dirty, mostly. It does have a little tear. So I don't know if I'm going to be selling that new. I'll have to wipe it down and see what it looks like. Um, let me see. It's... Got some gunk on it there. $2.99 though. And it sells for about $50 on Amazon FBA. I'll make between $20 and $30. Probably will just sell it used just to be safe. So we'll just say I'll make $20 profit on that in the end. We've got a Cranium Caribou. This was actually in a video somewhat recently as well. I picked one up at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents. It was missing 
a lot of the pieces, but uh, <laughs> as freakish as it is, I picked up another one for $2.99, and uh, all, the only thing this one's missing is the instructions and this diamond. Now, the other one, all it really had was the instructions and diamonds, so I'm going to take that one I paid 50 cents for. This one will be complete, and I'll sell this for about $70, $75 on Amazon, and I'll make about 50 bucks profit on this. So definitely a great game to pick up. Find one of these new, um, and you're selling it on Amazon, you're going to get about 250 300 bucks for it. I don't know why it's so popular, um, but it sells for good money. I picked up some of these figures at Goodwill. Uh, Rick and Morty there, pretty big Rick and Morty fan. Uh, Battle, Angel, Battle Angel Alita, seen the movie. I know of the anime and manga, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan, I would say. Mob Psycho 100, that's a great anime. Yes, I'm a nerd, I, I, I'm into this stuff. Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, um, I've seen these, I could not leave them. Now they were $2.99 a piece, they, they come from Loot Crate, if you know what that is. Um, it's basically a monthly service where they send you a crate, it's really just a box, and it's filled with, it has like a t-shirt, a figure like this, and some other random junk, you pay like $30 a month to, to get that. So, um, I didn't think they'd be worth a whole lot, but, uh, this one right here, so one sold for $35, and this one sold for, like, $13, a Mob Psycho is a mug, and, uh, see, this one was, like, 16 I think that was 16 this got some damage, though. Luckily, this one's never been open. This one, the little stickers come loose, I don't think it's actually been taken out and played with or used or anything. And this one's new. So, I don't know. In the end, selling this stuff, I'm, I'll probably just keep the Rick and Morty one. It's probably not worth selling since it's been the box has been uh, beat up. But I'll probably make about $35 profit on that stuff in the end. Got some shoes today. We got these Skechers Shape Ups. Uh, a lot of times, these sell well. I'm really picky when I pick them up, though. They're going to be in great condition and usually somewhat unique. This one has the Sparkles. $4.99. Um, I've, I've sold these up to $70 before. The men's, uh, like dress shoe ones, now these women ones are kind of basic, but the sparkle ones actually do okay. So I'll probably price these anywhere from 24 to uh, 30 bucks plus shipping. Probably get a sale in great condition. I also picked up these SAS shoes, S-A-S. I believe these are popular with nurses and people on their feet. These are unworn. I mean, they're super clean. I've actually never sold a pair. I don't think I've ever bought a pair to sell. I might have some in my shoes that need listing. I'm not sure. I see them a lot, but I never see them in good condition or ones that are really worth picking up. And for some reason, Goodwill was pricing them at $20 for a while. It was really weird. Uh, but these right here for $4.99, I'll price them $24, $30, I think it was. And then we got these shoes here. These are Pearl Izumi. These are cycling shoes. They're $4.99. These are unworn too. This past garage sale season, I picked up a pair of these. Maybe the same model for $0.50 cents or a dollar. I don't remember. I remember seeing them and then walking away and then coming back and just being like, what am I doing? I need to buy stuff. This is, this is why, <laughs> why I'm out at yard sales. So I went back and picked them up. Uh, this condition, new unworn probably price them at like 30 or 40 bucks plus shipping i believe these are like a lower end one so it'd probably be 29.99 is what i price them at but between these three pairs of shoes once they sell i'll make about 50 bucks and then finally i picked up a wilton cake pan i don't pick these up a lot anymore uh, actually, i didn't check on amazon for this one i looked on ebay it's on the other side here i thought this might be harley it's 19.99 it is vintage uh, it's not, not Harley or anything special, but people who are selling these on eBay and using the keywords Harley, Chopper, uh, stuff like that, uh, they're selling for about $25, so I paid $2.99 for it, it's in great condition, uh, it's going to be light to ship, so I figure, you know, in the end I'll probably make about at least $10 bill, so I went ahead and grabbed that, uh, probably use some nice keywords and We'll get it sold for hopefully $24.99. And this stuff here I showed in the car, right? So that was a great pickup. But yeah, that's going to do it for everything today. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please, on the way out, hit that like button for me. And 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you ring that bell so you'll be notified and they show up in your feed. Otherwise, you'll never see them. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.